So we're in the car on the way to Canterbury for the Tabletop Con run by Dice and Destiny. And today we are going to be playing Critical Sanctuary sent to us by Hachette. So very excited to try this. We've got our friend Ryan in the back. There's going to be a bring and buy. It's going to be an excellent day. And here I'm about to say a tools I picked up a green character seeing this dude is loyal but suspicious it, and a bit of a rain drag and seeing has got our own thing on there so finding out all about what he's going to be like and excited to get the playing the artwork look amazing and we're mainly not being distracted by the thing about flying mostly So as this story is progressing, we're getting these different cards with the artwork on them so we can visualize where we are as characters and how we're gonna get out of these sticky situations. So we are fighting about three different enemies um, in a room here. And there are three of us hero characters um, doing that, and somehow I'm the one who has shot two of them through the lance and killed them. And my companion are just sort of cowering in a corner somewhere, being completely ineffective, it seems. So, yeah, someone has to hold the team. So thanks to Adam at Ford at home, he helped steer me through my first game's mastering of playing Critical Sanctuary. And I must say, I really enjoyed it. I didn't realise the amount of creativity you must bring to the game to make sure it's adorable to everyone else. But being in charge of, of how of health and playing the game and having all this information in front of me, you know, the amazing people with power. And I thought I'd explore this idea of being a game's master in future games. So. So we finished playing Critical, and of course, my character killed all the baddies and helped us win that whole scenario and it, in the box there's nine scenarios so looks like there's lots more for that story to enjoy um now we're going to have a look around the rest of what there is to offer here which includes some drink and buy some demo games that people can get out and play some other um people that are sort of creating games have bought theirs for people to sort of learn and play and gather interest free kickstarter that sort of thing um and of course there's bits of the shop and you get some sacks and things too Now the joys of coming to a convention like this is you get to participate in kind of unusual games. So now we're playing a two-hour unmatched tournament. We're going to play as many games as we can and hope so getting so as many of these tokens as we can. Yeah. And the most tokens at the end is going to win. And if you win a match, you get to have help yourself your opponent's token. So, uh, feed is the essence here. We've got to play as many games as possible and try and get as many coins as possible. The problem is, We've never played in a game of match before, so I think we're at a bit of a disadvantage. I defeated Libby without taking any damage at all to my main card. You know what I mean? My dear, we've got your gold coin. So you can see just behind us, there's chairs and all the bits and bobs ready for Blood on the Block Tower, which seems to me to be one of the most popular games to be playing at our con. Like for the last year was, yeah. oh, I know it was really popular, Aircon, a UK Games Expo, they had loads as well. Yeah, so you can't go to a con nowadays without playing you know, Blood on the Block Tower. We've just finished the unmatched tournament, yeah. which was two hours of playing. I, I played for a lot longer than you did. It was not two hours of playing for me. I, well, I lost against the T-Rex. I took the first turn of the, of the math, and then I never took a turn again. So that went well. Um, I mean, I did enjoy it, but I, I, I'm not sure. Maybe I need to play again to work out about balancing or just, you know, hone my gameplay problem. Well, I have managed to play a few more games. I played four games. Uh, I won my first one against you. Yeah. Um, sadly, <laughs> I don't know, I won a second game, uh, but then I lost, I lost two. 
Um, and it was, it was it was really nice. I, I didn't mind losing one of them because I was playing against someone who was down to the last point of hell. And seeing their reaction when they won made it kind of a valuable. So I didn't mind losing that. My, I yeah, I think I had to fight four coins at the. I uh, saw two coins at the end, but the person who won had like seven. But it's really fun playing one game over and over again with the same yeah. character and then the, kind of perfecting that character. Again, yeah. I got interested to delve into some of the other characters and have yes. a look a little bit more because I've played Doctor Strange and you. So I played Achilles, um, which was fun. It's, it's, it's nice to play. I've been meaning to play uh, a match for a long time, so let's be clear. But yes, it's, it's really nice to be up here to be supporting kind of local cons and it's been well populated. There's a lot of people here having a great time. Now we're playing After Us, the new game with the artwork from Vincent de Trey with those gorgeous different apes and chips and things like that on it. A really fun game to puzzle out where to best position all those primates. Had a further morning here at the Tabletop Kong in Canterbury. Thanks so much for Dyson Denstony, one of our friendly local game stores for us putting it all on. Thanks again to Adam at Board at Home, another friendly local game store here in Kent, um, who ran through the critical sanctuary with us, which was really fun. And of course, if you're looking for games, another one of our friendly local game stores here is Chaos Cars, where you can get it's the most of all games at any of these places um, and if you use our discount code which is in the description you can get 5% off and purchase over £35 on the Chaos Cards website. So thank you so much for watching, we are from Box Me Boys, if you've not heard of us before we post a video on YouTube at least twice a week, always about board games, so do consider subscribing if you enjoy what we do. And write in the comments down below, what sort of local conventions do you like to go to, is there one near you you've had a great time at? And as always, thanks so much for watching. Bye!